Hey guys, I'm here with Will, Senior Product Manager at RCBS, and we are here to talk RCBS reloading gear. But before we do, Will, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure, so I've been, uh, I grew up reloading. That was one of the things, I mean, like a lot of people, mm -hmm. they grew up with their dad, their grandpa, just reloading in the basement, and where, wherever, in the garage. Mm -hmm. So when I was little, dad's like, whatever you shoot, whatever you reload, we can go shoot. Mm -hmm. So I love shooting, so what do I do? I would get home from school, i go down there and reload. Then we'd go to the range on the weekend or that night, and by the, end of, by the end of the week, it's like, Dad, we need more bullets, we need more powder, we need more primers. <laughs> He's like, all right, now you're going to start learning how to cast bullets because buying boxes of bullets is getting expensive. Yep. So started bullet casting. So, I mean, I've been reloading since I was probably 9 or 10 years old, just, just a little wow. guy, and just, just that love of that just kind of expanded and and kind of got my foot in the industry, so. Well, I'm a little jealous, actually, because I had to learn reloading by myself. You know, my dad had the, the Ruger 1022. He brought me into that part of, yep. you know, into the shooting sports world that way, and that was pretty thrilling. But, you know, later it was through necessity that I started reloading sure. ammunition. And uh, I thought, you know, some of the stuff that I could do can help people, Absolutely. you know, start to reload and that kind of thing. So so tell me, how did you end up at RCBS, and what what is your role with all of this equipment? Sure, so I uh, ended up with RCBS, I mean, First, my career, I worked for Midway USA for uh, seven years. Started out in their reloading technical service specialist, so uh, doing a lot of product setup, develop product setup, uh, working with a bunch of different suppliers on just how to sell their products better through through the website. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, I moved over, got hired on with Vista Outdoors, where I managed uh, the champion of Butler Creek lines for four years, and then uh, moved over to RCBS senior product manager uh, last March. Gotcha. And tell me a little bit about the RCBS story, you know, this is the 75th year, yes. an, the anniversary, and uh, Fred started the company, he was an avid outdoorsman, out, avid shooter, and uh, bullet caster, right? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, that was one of the things, RCBS got started out of Fred's necessity and love of shooting rock chucks, so, I mean, back during World War II, ammunition, everything became very scarce, <laughs> bullets were very scarce, so he had to devise a way to, to make bullets to shoot the rock chucks. So, I mean, RCBS first product was the Rock Chuck Bullet Swage. Just one of those products. I mean, he saw a need because he wanted to do that. So he built it and there's like other people are like, hey, I could really use that. And then, I mean, that's just how RCBS started and just kind of kind of blew up from there. Yeah. And everybody's seen a Rock Chucker in someone's grandpa's garage or whatever. You know, the, the hundred year hunting tradition that I'm a part of now, this family that I've joined, you know, their dad has got the rock chucker in the garage, you know, yep. old school, and they still use it. They still use it to load hunting ammo. Oh yeah, I mean, that's one thing, those rock chucks, those rock, the rock chuck supremes, they don't wear out. I mean, they're a solid press. I mean, a lot of times you hear people, yeah, I got this handed down. It was in my grandpa's will, my dad's will, and it was willed to me. And there's, there's a lot of pride behind that equipment that I mean, people just, they relate to it because they spend a lot of time. It's just like the smell of hoppies number nine. It's just one of those nostalgia things where I grew up reloading on RCBS, so I'm always going to load on RCBS because I know it's really high quality equipment. It's going to do exactly what I need it to do, and it's not going to wear out. Yeah, and it's a USA company, which is a good thing as well. Um, so tell me, you know, every company that makes reloading gear has a little bit of a different angle or a little bit of a different philosophy. Yes. As a product manager, you're kind of the shepherd of that philosophy yes, and working with the team to implement yes. that, that kind of uh, the embodiment of what RCBS is about. Yes. Tell me what that philosophy is. So my philosophy, I mean, with RCBS, we're precision-eared equipment. We are really going after the, the precision reloading equipment. So everything that we make, it's going to be the highest quality product that you can get. Uh, I mean, we face that all the time with companies coming out with similar products at lower price points. But I mean, one thing we do is we make sure that our product works. And that's one of my philosophies is I'm not going to release a product until I know that it's going to deliver what I say it's going to deliver because my name's behind that. And I mean, I get uh, I get a lot of flack all the time of being a perfectionist on things, but it's like, <laughs> if, if my name's going on this, people trust that it's going to do what they say it's going to do, and it's going to work, and it's going to be that, that quality of that product. I, I like that, the whole idea of perfectionism, because you have to be a perfectionist to a degree yes. to reload ammunition, otherwise you're not going to be very safe. No. And the people around no. you either. Right. Yeah, so tell me about the recent product additions, including like the Pro Chucker lineup. You know, I think the Pro Chucker 7 is really positioned in a unique way 
in the industry right now in the product offerings because it's a lower cost seven stage press and it's got this huge hopper. I mean, yeah, we've got, uh, I mean, we kind of have a little break in our product development uh, just from the, the switch over, so we don't have a ton of new products just right now. I mean, we've got uh, new 450 Bushmaster dies. So if you want to see these, we've actually got these really nice, uh, really cool cutouts that are embedded in acrylic, so you can actually see like the internals of our dies. You can see, uh, you come through and see how polished they are. And that's one of the things we do is we really focus on the internal quality of the dies. And I mean, we were pushed uh, over the summer to possibly look at different materials for the dies uh, because the steel that we use for our dies is very specialized. We have our own specific recipe. So we were looking at some other more common die steels and we just couldn't replicate the results that we get with our specific our specific thing. I mean, okay. It costs us a little bit more for that to get that die steel, but I mean, yep. I mean, we compared I mean really popular steels, and it's I mean even though they have the same material specifications, there's just something different in that manufacturing process when that raw material is made that just gives us superior results. Right. Fifty Bewolf. 450 Bushmaster, 458 SOCOM. These are cartridges that, uh, like in the AR-15 platform, uh, bring a unique sort of uh, performance potential, and I'm, I'm thinking that would be a really interesting thing to look at. Absolutely, yeah, that's one of the things I hadn't I hadn't shot the uh, the new Savage Bolt Rifle and 450 Bushmaster until yesterday at the range, and it's just one of those things. It was, it was a fun little caliber to shoot, and I mean, the rifle was pretty nice, and uh, shot really well. It's like, man, this be a, this would be a fun cartridge. I mean, I built a, I had a 50 Beowulf AR for a while just because it was cool and whatnot. Uh, played around with that a little bit, and uh, but yeah, I mean, just that resurgence from those Midwestern states that used to be uh, traditionally muzzleloader only, shotgun only, mm -hmm. where they've kind of relaxed on those laws. Use a straight wall, straight uh, straight wall cartridge. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think they I think a lot of those those DNRs and conservation departments looked and saw, wow, these people are using uh, using muzzleloaders that, I mean that can take center fire powder and center fire bullets are and they're just as I mean they're they work just like a center fire rifle I think we need to change these regulations a little bit yeah definitely um, it, it's it's interesting how it varies so much state by state and region by region definitely um, so here's a question uh, when I look at a design like the summit mm -hmm. single stage press I mean this is completely off the script yeah. it's it's like thinking upside down uh, Tell me what you can about how that press came to be and how it was developed and why. Sure. So, I mean, I'm not, uh, I don't know all the history with all the development, but I mean, the, the Summit Press, it was just, I mean, it was a press we said, you know, we need to look at, I mean, we've done the traditional O-frame presses that stand off the side, and that's what we've done for quite a while. Um, the Summit was, you know, we really need to look at what we're doing with this, and there has to be a, another way that we can make a press that's going to be more convenient for people where they don't have to have it sitting off the bench. I mean, the summit you don't you just you can put, you can mount in the middle of the bench if you want to. You just take the primer the primer catch off. Um, it was how, what can we do to make the uh, make a press that's going to give us the the most precise ammo as possible. I mean, that thing has a solid two inch ram on it. I mean, I mean, just the ram itself is massive, and just just the way that that the overcam works and. I mean, seating bullets is like butter, I mean. You're talking to a guy that drives a Dodge Ram 3500 Cummins turbo diesel to the store to go shopping, so I like the overkill of the two-inch Ram. Oh yeah, I mean, it's I mean it's a solid Ram. I mean, we get we get troubles running them just, just because of how big it is. I mean, we've got very special equipment just to run that Ram. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's, it's a nice press. I mean, it's probably my favorite press that we have. Awesome. Yeah, I've gotten some really good results. I've been using RCBS presses a lot lately uh, for things like the 224 Valkyrie series. Um, I'm going to do a follow-up video on how do you achieve precision with a progressive reloading press. A lot of folks out there feel like you got to be completely single stage, you got to be trickling the powder for every charge. And when I think of the AR platform, I don't think about trickling powder. I think about, you know, I'm headed to a prairie dog shoot or I'm shooting rock chucks or I'm hunting coyote at a thousand yards. And in order to practice, in order to do load development, it, it's just a scenario where we're burning through a lot of ammo. Mm -hmm. So I load on a single stage and then finish off on the progressive. Sure. And the results I've gotten are pretty amazing. If you don't have the sizing in the equation, I've got consistency within a thousandth of an inch on bullet seating nice. depth. So uh, I'll have a follow up on that. But I also wanted to mention that I just got the Rock Chucker Supreme. And I'm going to include that in my big lineup of 14 
single stage reloading presses, sure. of course, alongside the summit. So yeah. I, I will definitely want to share that with you guys. Absolutely. Any other ideas for content that I should work on this year? Um, I mean, we're going to work with you once, like I said, whenever we get some of that newer product coming out later this year. I know we're going to work with you on, on getting some of that, uh, some of that product to review to look at. Yeah, I know you guys hinted at something. It's not something you can talk about yet. I'm uh, eagerly anticipating, and uh, we'll wait for the appropriate time. But uh, my goal will be to have it on Ultimate Reloader first, of course. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and that's one of those fun things. Like, we've talked to, to a few different people, and, I mean, there's people that know more details about it than what I think they should. And they're like, oh, I heard about this. And it's like, well, maybe you're right, maybe you're not. I'm not going <laughs> to not gonna divulge more than, than what I can on it right now. But, yeah, I mean, we're, we're really stepping up our game on, on some new products coming out. So... It's going to be real exciting. It's really going to change uh, change the way people think about some things. Very cool. And I talked to the RCBS crew also about getting RCBS involved in the weekly giveaways. So make sure you're subscribed for that because uh, I definitely want to get you guys into that lineup and we can get people sharing RCBS stories and show us the maybe a naked picture of their bench where they would like that press to go or, or a press that needs some dyes for it or something like that and uh, just have a little bit of fun with that. Absolutely. So thank you very much, Will, Absolutely. for joining me. Thank you. I mean, it was a, it was a pleasure. And I mean, that's one of those things with, uh, we've been doing some pretty cool 75th anniversary giveaways mm -hmm. on our page. I don't know if you saw the uh, the Pro Checker 7 that we did. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was the custom Cerakote. So I know we can probably work with you getting getting those out because we're going to be doing a few more of those presses. Not necessarily the Pro Checker 7, but some of the other presses in the lineup. Just just a just a kind of... Exclusive. Celebrate. Exclusive. I mean, <laughs> one of a kind. So, I mean, it's yeah. they're really cool. If only Fred could see this, right? Exactly. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so make sure you subscribe to Gavin Tube with notifications. Got a lot more Shot Show 2019 content coming up. And uh, thanks again, Will, for joining me. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading. All right, thank you, Gavin.